Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we are talking about uh, the magnetic effects of current, let us talk about a special type of magnet called electromagnet. The name itself is electromagnet. That means a magnet which works uh, in close relation or in close association with electricity. That is why the name electromagnet. So it is a magnet in which electric current produces magnetic field. So basically this is a magnet, but the main principle within this magnet because of which magnetic field is produced is nothing but the electric current. So construction wise, uh, it generally consists of large number of closely spaced turns of wire. So as you can see here, this blue thing which you see, which is like kind of uh, tied over a core. So the, this, this is the wire, the blue colored thing and inside you have a core. Now, if the core is magnetic, like if it is made up of materials like iron, this can make it a all the more powerful magnet. So it depends on the material of the core that how strong the electromagnet is. And also uh, where the current flows, the current flows through this wire which is present above the core. So when current flows through this wire, magnetic field is produced. So that is how uh, electromagnet works. Now the advantage of electromagnet is that it is more flexible in controlling the magnetic field. So when we say more flexible, we mean that when the current is on, when electric current is on, magnetic field is produced. When electric current is off, no magnetic field is produced. So you know the control is pretty much easy. You just switch on and switch off the electric current. Your magnetic field is also controlled accordingly. So when your current is on, then magnetic field is produced or we can say magnetic field is also on. When current is off, magnetic field is also off. So it is pretty much easy to control the amount of magnetic field that is produced out of this magnet. So this type of electromagnet, it also has advantages over the normal permanent magnets where which are like pure magnets. They do not make use of the magnetic effect of electric current. So the advantage is that here, this control thing, here the control is over the current. So by changing the current, we can change the magnetic field. But in case of permanent magnets, that is not the case because each permanent magnet will, will produce a specific uh, amount of magnetic field and we do not have any control over the amount of magnetic field that is produced by the permanent magnets. So that is also one advantage because of which electromagnets are widely used. Now where do we use electromagnets? Where do we use this kind of magnets? Now electromagnets are very commonly used as components of many many electrical devices. So some of the examples are the cranes now these cranes are used to move heavy objects, they are used to lift heavy objects. Now they have electromagnets here. So what happens is all the magnetic materials can be very easily picked up. For example, iron and these kind of things which are very heavy at the same time, uh, you know, very difficult to locate. So when you have magnets, it becomes very easy, easy to lift these kind of materials as magnetic separators. So magnetic separators, what are these? So they are used to separate ferromagnetic materials from a waste dump of other metals. So you might have plenty of other metals. Now you want to separate the ferromagnetic material. So how will you do that? For example, scrap iron or steel, how do you do that? So with the help of these electromagnets. So when you switch on the current, the magnetic field is on. So it, it starts behaving like a magnet and it acts as magnetic separator. When you do not need it, just switch off the current. It will no more behave like a magnet. So these electromagnets, they find their application in small scale industries as well as in large scale industry machineries. Now some of few more examples are the hard disks. In hard disks also we have electromagnets. You talk about the loudspeakers, there also you have electromagnets, you talk about the motors, you talk about the MRI machines in hospitals. So in all of these you have electromagnets playing an important role. Electric bell, a very common thing which we, we might have encountered in our day-to-day -day life. So in electric bells also we see a major role of electromagnets. The induction heaters, these, these have become very common these days. 
so the induction uh, cooking tops the induction different vessels and all so these induction wet heaters they also rely on electromagnets because the electromagnet they convert electrical energy into heat energy and that's how heating happens in induction heaters so these electromagnets are used in a variety of applications now how they actually work so that we will see looking at the working of an electric bell so we are going to discuss about electric bell in more detail thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again